that's different though. Like on Earth, that's a whole another thing. I don't know. I don't know if they on Earth because we ain't seen some. We ain't seen enough evidence, bro. We ain't seen enough evidence to really to really get a full, you know, answer, bro. As I'm looking up, I just see these three lights in like a triangular formation. It just moves without, you know, any sound or anything. Then it stops for ten seconds or so, and then just raises up into the clouds and then just disappears. God damn! He look, he look like he believes in that shit. KXDD donated five dollars. Hey, hey, don't I, if you don't remember me, I was the KXDD rich dude, do who you what the, reacted the... to a while ago, and next month I got new music coming out, and it's gonna be way better than that, so hopefully I can get your opinion on it. I'ma be up soon, traffic lights. Bet. The traffic lights? What's, that? What's with the traffic light? I'ma be up soon, traffic light. It's like a Lil Wayne verse, bro. I'ma be up soon, traffic light. Oh my gosh. We're all going against the wind. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Haven't a lot of the these videos Haven't a lot of these videos been debunked debunked what is your though? Opinion about aliens. They're real. <laughs> we have an entire galaxy just of so many different planets and stars. The odds of us being alone in the universe are almost non-existent. Do you yeah. think humans have made contact with aliens already? I don't think the evidence shows that. I've had my own experience. When you tell this experience to people, do they typically believe you? I've had my own experience, dude. Like, I've seen it, man. <laughs> What's with all these simps simping for Mari? Bro, she's 16. Do y'all know that? Yeah, then, then again, a lot of y'all niggas simping are the same age. Bro, y'all never seen a light-skinned girl before, bro. I think that's the that's the issue. Y'all see a light-skinned girl and lose your goddamn mind, bro. You? Yeah, for the God most part. Damn. I have encountered Omar aliens. Omari chose and donated five dollars. It's not about the titties; it's about the principle. What? <laughs> when were we talking about titties, sir? What Shut conversation up, are you listening to? What conversation are you listening to? And Mari, stop putting your goddamn cash app. It's not like in person, like they're hanging out, like they're not dense like we are. We're talking about minimum of thousands, if not millions or billions of light years away. So the odds that they have visited us is pretty astronomical that they probably didn't and may not visit us for millions of years. I think it's pretty exciting, God unless damn. you're one of those people that's getting Q2K, visited at three in the morning K alone K in your bedroom. What is that name? Have you heard and seen the new Migos Racks Too Skinny video? Yeah, what 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 about that? What about that song made you want to tell me about that? Because that song was trash. Room and getting walked out to some crap for sexual experimentation. We brought six strangers together to spark a dialogue about non-human intelligence and the difference between science and science fiction. Claims and arguments made in this video reflect the opinions of the participants and cannot be assumed to be true or false. We encourage viewers to do their own research with verified sources. That's what I'm saying. Do your own research. My name's Greg Carlwood. I host a podcast called Higher Side Chats in the Conspiracy Paranormal Space. I've been doing it for 10 years, so I've heard a lot of interesting stories. Uh -huh. I'm Luke Nias. Uh, I'm an IT specialist, uh -huh. and I've also had my own experience, which is kind of crazy, but yeah. Hi, I'm Lauren. I have a blog. Why do you look but, at him like that? Hi, I'm Lauren. I have an experience, which is kind of crazy, but yeah. Hi. Yo, why is he looking at him like that? Like your own experience? Yeah. Okay, buddy. Okay, I should re. I should stand up and slap your stupid ass, <laughs> bro. Relax. Hi, I'm Lauren. I have a blog um, called hey, StarseedHotspot.com. I'm someone who would identify as a starseed and have had. So what the fuck? Starseeds are people who originated as extraterrestrials and arrived on wait what are people who originated as extraterrestrials and arrived on earth through birth i'm sorry what Shots out to I'm Dante. does this bitch actually believe that she's an alien this whole this whole shit just went left she's a star seed which are people who originated as extraterrestrials and arrived on Earth through birth or as a walk-in to an existing human body. 
which means she came from the stars and just put herself in the body of another grown human or she was just born as an alien. She's going to be an interesting person, bro, because she's going to be... I can't wait to see how she just caps this shit. This is another thing, though. Like, what if this shit is real? What if a star seed... What if this shit is real? But we are just so in denial. We're like, yo, bitch, shut up. <laughs> like, we are literally talking to an alien. And we're just like, yo, shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch. And <laughs> we, ju we just bullying aliens and... <laughs> we just bullying aliens in middle school and high school and shit like that. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up if you really think about it like that. But yeah, I don't know about all that. Y'all... Y'all will identify as everything but white. You are white. <laughs> I was reading some, I was reading, I was reading a comment. <laughs> had a lot of different spiritual um, and paranormal experiences. Hi, my name's Lynette. Um, I'm an actress and I'm spiritually aware of myself and I believe that, you know, aliens are real. I'm Dominic Andre. Uh... Who asked if she was an actress? And why is she literally dressed like she's an actress? Like. She like she does these actresses as like a school, you, you, right? You know how the stereotypical actress looks like. Like, why is she dressed like that? She really wanted to drive home. Like, yeah, I'm an actress. We didn't ask. This is about act. This is about aliens. Don't give a fuck, yo. T N K. Thank you for the sub. All right. Um, I am actually a mental health therapist God and a influencer, damn. but um, I've been in love with science since I was a kid, published by NASA, and I pretty much am an amateur astronomer. That was a flex. He said published by NASA, didn't he? That was a flex. <laughs> oh, you're an actress? Um, I was Shout actually published by, uh, published by NASA, mm. so. <laughs> what, what if, what, uh, which one of your works have been published, ma'am? <laughs> Any of your works been published? Spencer Marks, uh, the author of the sci-fi book, Living History, God and damn. also a senior investigator with the Center for Inquiry Investigations Group. We investigate claims of the paranormal. All mm. right, can I get my folks who feel like they have made personal contact with aliens on the left, and then my people Shout who out to have Dante. not on the right. Oh, so this is more than just discussing if someone has if someone believes in aliens or don't believe in aliens, this is niggas who say they've actually known aliens. Yeah, One of them say they are an alien, L like basically. The first prompt is, I've seen a UFO. I mean, UFO is an un is, is literally yeah, just an unidentified damn. flying object, right? Or unidentified, yeah, flying object. I'm pretty sure we've all seen a UFO, right? Haven't you seen something in the sky that you were like, yo, what the fuck is that? You couldn't identify what the fuck it was. <laughs> it was an unidentified, <laughs> unidentified flying object. But let's scratch all that. Has anybody actually seen like a spaceship? Has anybody seen a spaceship? Forget like UFO, like, oh no, the literal term is da da da. Now, have you ever seen a spaceship before? Me personally, I haven't. No? You seen a space... I don't know. I feel like some of y'all are lying. Yeah, bro. Uh, didn't you watch Star Wars? <laughs> Nigga never seen Star Wars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's, he looks like he does acid. Of course yeah. he's seen this. Of course he's seen this. Welcome. Hello. Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen one. Um, uh, it was about 10 years ago. Um, just right before I graduated high school. And as I'm looking up, I just see <clears throat> these three lights in like a triangular formation. There was no body to it, just the three lights. And uh, they were like flickering, almost like uh, on fire or something like that. I look at my buddy and I, <clears throat> I say, uh, are you, are you seeing this? And he sees it. And yeah, Little it just, salt it just underscore donated $5. Little salt. I am don't I, I know you ain't big into self-promotion, but if but you But you're ever... about to self-promote, watch. Get the chance, could you tell me your thoughts on my song? How did I know, bro? Hey, maybe I could be an alien. Um, just, just uh, just message me, it. and hopefully I come across the message on Instagram. Moves without, you know, any sound or anything, just quiet for about a minute. Then it stops for 10 seconds or so, and then just raises up into the clouds and then just disappears. Well, this is 10 years ago, so it's like, 
drones weren't really a big thing, you know. I've never seen a plane that could hover, or at least <clears throat> hover and then not make a bunch of noise. So it's just, it's a, something I can't explain, honestly. Um, so for me... This guy creeps me out. Like, he just seems, like, he seems like he doesn't even want to be here at all. As someone who is um, a clairvoyant, I'll see like dimensional like overlapping of things, especially going through what's called a Kundalini awakening. Um, is which she was making really this up? Is she making this shit up on spot? A Kundalini -lind awakening is when layer after layer of the mind becomes open, and all the different visions and wonderful powers come to the yogi. What is? She Clairvoyant. I'll see like dimensional like over Clairvoyant a person who claims to have supernatural this bitch just thinks she's a superhero Like she's seen Chronicle and was like yes, that is me. That is me a person who claims to have a Supernatural ability to perceive events in the future or beyond normal sensory contact So she'd be charged she she probably charges people to do it like to read shit, bro. Overlapping of things, Hold on, let me, let me hear it. Um, So for me, as someone who is um, a clairvoyant, I'll see like dimensional like overlapping of things, especially going through what's called a Kundalini awakening, um, which was really intense, and I had a lot of different types of contact with like aliens through like astral projection. Oh my god, bro! She just googled a whole bunch of shit and was like, "Yo, I'm finna, I'm finna show them." Like, there's no way they can deny this. They can't deny what they don't understand. If I just say a whole bunch of big words that nobody knows, like, how can they deny me? How can you argue against me if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about? <laughs> astral projection is an intentional out-of-body experience that is separate from the physical body and capable of traveling outside it throughout the universe. It's called a Kundalini awakening, um, which was really intense and I had a lot of different types of contact with like aliens through like astral projection as well. Like I've just, like left my body, seen my body, like laying there and went and visited other dimensions, been on spacecrafts and like seen different spacecrafts. These are things that like I can't explain and they, they weren't dreams. For me as an amateur astronomer, I do see UFOs, but to clarify that UFO stands for unidentified flying object. So for me, yes, I do see things that I don't know what they are. We talked about um, that. But yeah. my immediate conclusion isn't aliens or intelligent life. My immediate conclusion is what can I scientifically understand you know we thought thunder was gods and now we would easily explain it to not being gods people will get confused how do you know that though? how do you know they... that how do you know that though bro? how do you know that it's still not the gods bro the gods of the clouds how do you know the clouds aren't some gods bro shout out to uh what is it is it uh is it odin odin and thor are both like the fucking like or zeus odin zeus i guess it depends on which which uh belief or whatever it is right Zeus, Odin, Thor, all that shit. They, you know, it's one of those gods, bro. Make UFO and aliens, you know, one, and I'm like, that's not the same thing. Um, that's a good point. Let's bring in our disagreeers. Interesting. Interesting. It Mike. would be disingenuous to say I've ever seen one. This girl's this a genius. Fuck Mars, we'll be. Oh shit. Flight might really be an alien. Fuck Mars, we on Venus? That flew by everybody's head, bruh. Wow. First hand. Hold on, let me see some of these. He said, hey, Dante, I'm a big fan. Can you check out the box? Oh, my God. I'm so glad I muted these notifications. <laughs> Can you check out the box by Roddy Rich? It's fire, bro. Uh, bro, we got some aliens. You heard of Elon Musk's kid? Oh, yeah, what the fuck is that name? How do you even pronounce that shit? How do you even pronounce that name, bro? <laughs> That's fucked up what they did to him. But because of what I do, uh, I've had plumbers come to the house. You're like, oh, what do you do? I host a conspiracy podcast. 
well, let me tell you something. You know, my uncle is a, is a pilot, and he would never tell his superiors this, but he's seen this and this. And even the U.S. Navy has released footage of UFOs and said, yeah, these crafts are real, and we don't know what they are. Just a couple of years ago, it was in the New York Times. I certainly have seen, looked up and said, oh, I don't know what that is, but I never once assumed that to be an alien spacecraft. It's because your mind... It's because your mind's not open. You need to wake up, my brother. If you look up in the sky and you don't know what it is, man, it's a UFO. Whether you want to believe it or not, my niggas. You got to wake Yo, you got to open up your eyes. You got to peel back the layers of your brain. Whatever bullshit that girl was spouting, bro. I hate that when something isn't understood and you try to, you know, make claims that are, you know, a realistic explanation, other people are like, nah, man. You're just not you're just not opening your mind, bro. You're thinking too you're thinking too narrow, which some people do be thinking too narrow. But like, come on, bro. Like, shut the fuck up. This shit's so back and forth. I actually am also a private pilot, so I I know how to identify aircraft visually from the, the lighting pattern. I'm also an amateur astronomer, and and you know uh, I, I looked up. Yo, has nigga has niggas explained the Bermuda Triangle about all them planes that go missing? Missing now that shit weird a thousand times through a telescope and you can see like a, some people might think that object moved so fast it was bright and you know was that a, uh, an, a UFO well I know it's a satellite so um, I'm not worried about those things. There's a lot of people who say yeah, I've seen aliens I've seen UFOs it's interesting that the aliens have headlights yeah you don't want to crash in the ground I think I think that we, we, we don't even need those now I mean you know like we, we can use the technology so it's interesting that we always use like human-like objects to to, to there explain isn't like aliens. a catch-all you know what I mean that is true though that is true though I think I think that we, we, we don't even need those now I mean you know like we, we can use the technology so it's interesting that we always use like human-like objects to, to, to there explain isn't like aliens. a catch-all you know what I mean because it's like you said, oh, they have headlights. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe they have lights, but maybe it's not so they can see there could be a different purpose for it. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not one to be a fibber, you know? This nigga's name is Luke, bro. This nigga's name is Luke. Of course he believes in all this space shit, man. You know, it's like, if I believe in something, I'm, I'm not afraid to say it, you know, even if people might think I'm crazy or whatever, you know, because it's, it's just something that's so weird and different that I mean, why would you make that up? Aliens live among us today. Damn, don't nobody believe that? Why do they always take so long? Why do they always wait for one person to walk up, bro? You either believe it, you're for yourself, or you don't, bro. <laughs> God damn. Yo, Mario King, I see you. He said, um, LOL, I will be back. I'm about to make some honey barbecue fried chicken. I will watch the stream on my phone though, LOL. And I don't know if aliens on Earth, but definitely out in space. That's what I'm saying. They definitely out in space. Why did you tell me you about to make some barbecue fried chicken? What am I supposed to do with this information? <laughs> they find germs on Mars. Could you imagine if we got infected from space? Ooh. I wonder what a, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what a space virus is like, bro. If the viruses on Earth is hitting like they hitting now, what the fuck is a space virus gonna do, bro? God damn. Guess I'm an alien because I stay in a galaxy far, far away from these fuck niggas. <laughs> this galaxy, this universe is so vast and wide. To believe that they aren't here now is kind of dumb, in my opinion. <laughs> Some kind of multidimensional thing. I mean, someone's flying all those crafts that people see out there. Right. I've never seen any that I know of, but I have interviewed a lot of researchers who have heard from people within the government, within the Department of Defense, that have said that they are pretty confident that that's a reality and that the black budget goes to trying to keep some kind of tabs on this activity. I have read some stuff about- Here we go, get ready for big word girl. Oh my gosh, she can't say a goddamn, she can't say a goddamn sentence without using a word that's over three syllables. <laughs> people being abducted into government facilities, Area 51, things like that. If we're talking about like the traditional sense of like an alien, they work with our government, they keep this matrix operating, you know? And as someone who identifies- She's really one of those people. She said they keep this matrix operating. She's really one of those people. She, she, she mesmerized everything. She memorized everything uh, Google told her. <laughs> As a star seed, I mean, like technically, I'm an alien that incarnated here. Oh my God, bro! She 
she really she really truly believes that she really truly believes that that's what that's why i'm just call, i gotta call bullshit on that i hope they push i hope they pressure her and ask her some questions like just ask her some questions bro that only an alien would know i guess i interpret it as living among us i think of like you know, the reptilians where, uh, you know, they're in disguise and they're assimilating into uh, uh, our society where you could be an alien and you're just not saying it, you know what That's I mean? That's what she's saying. <laughs> I don't know if you see him in the line at Starbucks, yeah. but I do think for there to be physical experiences, they're, they're sharing the planet with us. I just find the notion pretty far-fetched. I mean, why the secrecy? If they want to learn from us, if we want to learn about them, they're, why wouldn't they just step forward and say, here we are? What? Why? Hold on. That's kind of stupid, though. Why the secrecy? My nigga, if that's the case, why the government keep shit so secret? Why the government keep shit so secret? If an alien was coming here and they didn't want niggas to know, of course they wouldn't tell us. <laughs> what the fuck? Y You're saying, why would aliens not tell humans that they're real? When humans don't like other humans just for living in a different continent humans have a problem with niggas coming from a different continent to be on u.s soil that triggers them how the fuck you think they're gonna react when they found out a nigga comes from space we just watched a video yesterday of a whole bunch of karens getting triggered because a nigga was speaking Chinese to his friend. How the fuck do you think the whole world and people like her are gonna act when an alien is like, that looks like a snacking? They're gonna like, you need to go back to your planet. This is Earth. <laughs> this is Earth. Can you imagine an alien cursing? A, an alien could literally just call her racial slurs and shit. We wouldn't even understand. I think we all obviously believe aliens do exist here or Fact. statistically, Fact. Um, which is fine. But to say that that they traveled here is another thing because like with the Roswell That's crash, very- Please get on her. That's what she's saying. She's saying she's an alien. Why has nobody addressed this? Very unlikely to see. On July 8th, 1947, a flying disc crashed near Roswell, New Mexico. The US military stated that it was merely a con <laughs> conventional weather balloon. Nah, it was just a weather balloon. Uh, why are they lying to us? Like the government be lying to us, bro. <laughs> nah, 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 it was just a weather balloon. But I could have sworn I seen that. Nah, 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 weather balloon, weather, <laughs> weather. Someone be able to do that 10,000 years, cross the entire universe, and then crash immediately when we get here. Well, plus you look at the debris. I mean, it, it, they, they have pictures of the debris. It's like literally balsa wood and, you know, mylars. Pictures <laughs> they showed you. Well, facts, bro, facts. These are pictures they showed you, my nigga. Of course they're gonna, like, the fuck? Exactly. But, but the point is, there's not enough physical. I, you know, if you're in a spaceship, it's not going to be three pounds I mean, of debris. I've read a lot of books about. I'm sorry, but his he he's making his point very very bad, and I don't even think alien. I don't think aliens like. I just don't know if they, like. I doubt they walk among us on Earth. Cause why the fuck that would they want to be here, bro? They got the whole gal. They got the whole universe. They uh, if they can travel that far and shit, they could travel the whole universe. Why the fuck would they want to chill with us, bro? We ain't shit. We, we, we actually, we basically going as extinct. Why the fuck would they want to be hanging out with us? But at the same time, this argument that he's trying to make, like, well, we just don't have it. Like, his, his argument is very weak. It's making me disagree with him more and more. The chain of custody of that material, there's thousands of people who've had experiences. There's, there's uh, dozens and dozens of crash stories that are beyond Roswell. Do you think that the person writing the book has an incentive financially to write a book? Yes, but is a doctor less good because he makes money being a doctor? Mm, damn! This nigga is checkmating him. Holy fucking shit. Crash stories that are beyond Roswell. Do you think that the person writing the book has an incentive financially to write a book? Yes, but is a doctor less good because he makes money being a doctor? 
contact me. Aliens is kind of a loaded term. I mean, I think of non-human intelligences, which could be things people experience on psychedelics. I woke up one day a complete material atheist. Some friends convinced me to try salvia divinorum. And oh no, not him too. Oh, this is a fucking drug. This this is a plant species with transient psycho what? property it just makes you psychedelic or some shit you just see some crazy shit and then it was kind of like an instantaneous out-of-body experience and then that felt entire. <laughs> jubilee does not encourage recreation recreational use of drugs but my nigga it sounds kind of fun right guy <laughs> sounds kind of cool though, though. <laughs> bro that shit like they're explaining it to us it like make it kind of makes me want to try it man well, like why not you know why not I'm down to does not encourage the use of it's like my nigga do what you gonna do whatever you gonna do is because you did it but my nigga if your parents fucking dm me and was like yeah my son tried this some psychedelic drug because you talked about it on his stream and you were joking around like how you were gonna try it so therefore it encouraged him to try it I'm like ma'am your child that is your child he is under your roof how he get the drugs in the house in the first place you are a bad parent get the fuck out of my dms bitch Cheeks, my boy, I see. He said, to be honest, if we only explore 2% of Earth's water, I don't want to know what the fuck is out there. I don't know what, I don't, I don't, I don't want to know. Bro, the ocean is scary. I, I've been saying the ocean is scary. I've been saying the ocean is scary. That shit creeps me the fuck out. Entirely natural. It felt more normal than waking life. And then there were, a, there was a male and female entity of some kind. And Adam and Eve. They spoke to me, they're like, wow, we're surprised you're here. I'm like, I'm surprised I'm here. And one was more cynical about. You can't take shit like that though and try to use it as fact. Cause my nigga, you're under the influence. You're, you're under the influence. So why the fuck? The fact that I wouldn't be there long and the other one was just more excited about being there at all. And the one was like, well, you know, why, why are you even talking to this guy? He's going to be gone. He's going to be gone in just a few minutes. And I was like, but he's here now. And um, I'm convinced there's intelligences out there that are non-human that we can't interact with. But that kind of changed my life, actually. You were on drugs. people on the other side are misinformed. Misinformed? It's not really about misinformation. It's just about we don't have enough information. I think, I think that's what the it is. data for UFOs and non-human intelligence is pretty strong. I think you have to really dive into it because it's not being presented on the news. But when you look at it, there's no shortage of really credible sources that have seen some pretty incredible things. Paul Hellyer is the ex-defense minister. Governments, especially the U.S. government, have been working with several species for decades. They have spent billions denying the existence of UFOs, ETs, and their incredible characteristics. Wait, they have spent billions denying the existence? Wait, why are they spending money to deny shit? Why are they spending money to deny shit? Or why do you have to spend money to deny shit? I don't get it. Watch this video on the Roswell, New Mexico crash. It's actually insane what they talk about. All right, we're going to check that out. Uh, after this, depending on how long it is. Minister of Canada, and he says, hey, there's these crafts flying over and they're shooting our nuclear facilities with some kind of beam and disabling them. I mean, that's a fairly credible source. Right, well, look, anecdotal evidence is some ups? evidence, but it's not strong Oh, bri oh, to bribe people to shut the fuck up. Mm. Wait, nigga, that, that's a fact? Like, people know that? How is that not an answer within itself? That's not a fact? Oh, it's just like an assumption? I was about to say, if, if, if we know for a fact that they are spending this much money to cover shit up, then that itself shows that they are covering something up. <laughs> this shit is interesting. Very interesting. As far as physical evidence, that's where we fall short. I would disagree with that. Have you ever tried a psychedelic I compound? Have not. I have not. I, I mean, hey. This is the thing, though. Like, no, he, like, his he he started off strong. Now he's saying, I mean, have you ever tried a psychedelic drug? Have you ever tried it? 
Of course you're gonna see crazy shit when you take a drug like that, bro. That's a, that's what the intention is. That's the whole point. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't. That's just. I feel like because your mind is already thinking this, you're gonna see like whatever you're thinking already, and it's already in your head. Once you take that drug, it's just gonna enhance it, like times a hundred. I'm assuming, bro. So of course you're gonna see whatever it is you think. You know what you've been thinking about. I don't. That shit. That's not logical, bro. You had me. You had me in the first half. Now you're kind of falling off, bro. You, yeah, you, you had him. You had him, bro. We can figure this out pretty quick. <laughs> then you do it, and then you tell me it wasn't real. Well, so you're saying that something you take is gonna create an external difference. We can't look at that as evidence any more than we can. Uh, I dreamt. It something. widens perceptions of that. We can't use that as evidence any more as we can dream something. Like use a dream, bro. That's not enough evidence. Yo, I had a dream, bro. I had a dream I was a fucking robot, bro. It was crazy. Bro, you dreamed that? My nigga. You're an actual, you're an actual robot. You think so? Yes, bro. You could dodge this bullet, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God, bro. You had a dream, my nigga. It's real. Trying to test it? Shit, let's do it. And now that nigga's dead. Bro, it's a, dr it's a fucking dream, bro. Consciousness. But that's from your brain. But that's like a hallucination. That's not really expanding consciousness. Like you're talking well, about like hallucinating. Well, what's the difference? So I think science is also based on perception. So you're, you're talking about the brain and the brain being powerful. But so is our heart center, which science can prove has its own energy field around it. And it's much stronger than our brain. So the point that I want to make is like science is based on perception. It's a bunch of people perceiving studies a certain way, right? But so is spirituality. On, the, the, the difference between science is not that five different scientists perceive something differently or in the same way. They look at evidence, and if that evidence guides them and points them toward a particular That's what science direction, is. and it's repeatable, did you, did you drop the class, sweetie? Were you too busy playing with your goddamn crystals, ma'am? We tend to say, well, that's what reality t tends to be or seems to be. But that's and reality based on your perception. No. No, it's reality based on the goddamn facts. What are you talking about? You can't deny it. Andreas, thank you. Thank you for the five, bro. Dante, can you watch seven seniors decide to get... Can you watch seven seniors decide who gets $1,000? I promise you, you won't be disappointed. What, that's a Jubilee video? Bro, they're, they're arguing over $1,000? Seniors? He just shot him. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me see that. He just shot himself in the foot because science says everyone has a different view of reality. That's why you think you look fat, but others think you don't. Science says everyone has a different view of reality. Yeah, everybody does have a different view of reality. Which is like, which still kind of like, but how did, but how do we get there, bro? How do we get there? Science, which, which proves this point. We know that people have a different view of reality. Scientists, scientists have s said that, or whoever fucking discovered this shit, like whoever they, they did tests, they did tests. And now we know, oh, wow. Other people have a different view like this, that, and the third, like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's like. You just gotta use your mind. I thought this was common sense, but like, this like baffles me how, I guess how some people think differently. And it's repeatable and it's falsifiable. We tend to say, well, that's what reality t tends to be or seems to be. But that's and reality based on your perception. No, it's not a perception. <laughs> it I mean, it it's, is, it's, everything is perception. Is at, science is good at things. <laughs> the... We are probably misinformed about a lot of stuff, but for the other side to say, you guys are missing. They have evidence, but it's so outlandish, nobody wants to believe it. Formed, I think is just as ridiculous because I think- That's like what I meant, honestly, yeah. is like we all have our own truth and that's relative to you and it's valid regardless. Yeah. And I think- and I th But there's like, I understand that some people have their own truth, but also there's, there, there's truth and then there's actual facts. <laughs> There's truth and then there's actual like facts that like that that have been tested and shit like that. 
And she just keeps saying, well, that's, you know, you can say that's your fact, but that's not really, you know, that's your truth. No, no, it's fact. No, that, that's your truth and that's fine. No, ma'am, ma'am, I'm telling you it's a fact. I know and I have my truths as well. It's like, whatever, you just can't win at that point. I think that that can be true for people and I think it's hard because like, I could show you an expert, it's meaningless to you, but you could show me your expert and it's it, this is the right one. And so it's interesting because I work with a, a lot of um, Muslims, they're saying, you know, I've spoken to my God. Then a Christian says, the Muslim God is wrong, but I've spoken to my God. And that is another good point. That is another good point. How can, that's why, you know, that's why I never understood how people in one religion just blatantly d denies a whole another religion or like just gets like try to get on other people for not believing something like bro everybody that is religious has spoken to their own god or at least someone someone in some there's at least one person in each religion that has said i've spoken to my god okay i've spoken to my god he's spoken back to me so it's like you can't really use that <laughs> you you really can't and a Hindu says, you know, I've actually recognized and remembered my past life and I have, I can name it down to a T. Oh, and so if we get to that point, I think everyone would then just be right. And we would know there would be no actual unifying reality. Thank you, bro. You speak in facts. Cause there do be people that be talking like that. Yeah, I, I remember my whole past life, bro. I remember my whole past life. But the scientific yeah. community is saying we want to create a unified reality. Between Dante, you know, you know, the government is heap leaching heart large amounts of dirt underneath area 51 and paying miners in the area hush money gold to keep it a secret aliens how do you, how do people how do people find out about this how do how do people find out about this <laughs> if people are finding out about this and it's true then these niggas are getting paid and still telling anyway <laughs> these niggas are still getting their money from the government and just telling anyway Bro, the government just paid me like a hundred bands not to say nothing. Nigga, why'd you just tell me? I don't know. I already got the money, bro. <laughs> I already got the money. They can't take it back. What are they going to do? Kill me? Yes, my nigga, it's the government. <laughs> They'll cover that shit up too. Between each other so we can progress uh, in our own way. Um, and that's why science, we would never say there aren't aliens or are aliens. You know, you're saying aliens, you know, if there was a crash, we would say there could be, but we don't know, Fair. and right now it's leaning this way. So True. misinformation True. is different. It's more just about kind of like hard-headedness on that. It's fair. I think it's more close-mindedness to say, you know, you, yours a whole kind of organization is, is not to be malicious in debunking things, but that, that is your goal, is, is to disprove something. No, that's not at all. It's absolutely not true. Well, you, you, no, you're, no, no, uh, the, our organization it looks at, evidence for things that we ask others they have a claim of a paranormal activity great show it to us Just show us the evidence we're, we don't do anything to debunk them we mm. simply I feel like that's really limiting though no that's but, the thing but the point is, is how? Yeah, that's misinformation not limiting. It's, it's, i just feel like it's just no, limiting it, well, instead of missing well the purpose is to, to find the truth to find the truth and, and what do you say okay. to the u.s navy who has come out and said there are unidentified flying crafts that defy physics Again. we don't know what they are is we, that don't, a credible we don't know, we don't know our physics yeah, but the point we're is learning saying, our physics you, why you, i agree with that but, i think but, that's why there's if, a lot if, of suppression in this area because it unlocks hidden but if technologies but the u.s navy is saying we don't know what it is that's the point there's so many tapes that you see from like the air force where you see these these flying objects i don't and it's the same thing of saying you know five thousand years ago that's thunder you guys saw that thunder it's god we're just saying we don't know and to that is true that's why that's why science exists to explain things we don't fucking understand do i think aliens are real oh i for sure think aliens are real um but now they're having a whole different topic uh, a whole different discussion which is what i really i'm really enjoying right now but this is very true. This is why we have science to explain things that we don't understand. Just because we see like a, an unify, unidentifying, you know, flying object or whatever and say, oh, shit, we don't know what that is. We're not just going to say, oh, it's an alien. We're going to say, I don't know what that is, but like, let's, uh, you know, let's figure out what that is. Let's try to figure out what it is. That's the whole point of, of science. And hopefully with enough science, they can officially discover that shit. Like, you can't just get that shit like just like that, bruh. Jump to conclusion. But jumping to conclusion is kind of far-fetched. We've, kind of, we've kind of exploded. What does she mean? What Does she even know what she's talking about, bro? Does she even know what she's talking about? But this is good. <laughs> you That's the good stuff. This. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. Is this the content you want?
I am completely on the side of science and evidence. I investigate claims of the paranormal with a group called the Center for Inquiry Investigations Group, and um, we have not found any evidence whatsoever of any sort of paranormal activity or aliens or Anything? any that sort of thing. And we've looked. And you paranormal activity, that's, you talking about ghosts now, bruh. See, I don't know about the ghost shit, bruh. I don't know about the ghost shit, man. That bitch is annoying. I will say that, you know, I'm hearing everybody out, and I'm not, I'm, you know. But she does, she just annoys me, bro. She does annoy me. Ghosts are fake as fuck, bro. I don't know, because, like, that involves, like, dead. That involves dead people who have, like, that, in, that involves dead people who are on Earth. And, like, like we, we, that's the thing. That's something we just don't know because none of us are dead. We are all alive right now. We don't know what the fuck happens after death. There are people who, there are people who try to, you know, say what happens. There are some people who assume. There are some people, you know, we got scientists who, you know, who figure that shit out, who say, they say what happens when you die. Science has told us what happens, you know, when you die. They haven't really said anything what happens after you die, though. I don't think, like, because how the fuck can you figure that out? There have people, been people who have been, you know, clinically been told that they've died. And then that's when I think it comes from, like, the mind or whatever you believe. I feel like whatever you believe or whatever, whatever it is, it's just going to, that shit, is, that's what happens. But, like, who the fuck knows, bro? Who the fuck knows, man? We'll see when we fucking die, bro. <laughs> been on the show before right i have been on the show before yes in the uh flat earth episode i knew he seemed familiar this is with those crazy flat earther girls y'all remember that girl she was always like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah see i believe that the earth is flat because i was on an airplane <laughs> there was no curve there was no curve to the earth that was her argument, like the whole show, bro. <laughs> that was her. That was her strong argument. I was on an airplane, and guess what I saw when I looked out the window? No curve. There was no curve. I was like, "Yo, are you serious right now? <laughs> are you serious right now?" Oh, okay, okay. If that's your argument, whatever. Nice. What was that experience like? It was a great experience. Um, <clears throat> my only comment was that we presented a lot of science, and all of that was edited out. We sort of ended up with interesting sound bites, but not so much of the science. Um, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn! Call them out! <laughs> Call them out, bruh! He almost spit out his teeth! He almost spit out his teeth! <laughs> oh, shit. Like, I don't edit the videos, bruh. I don't edit the videos, I just send that off to Clarissa, bruh. You can talk to her, I can send you the card. Sound bites, but not so much of the science. Um, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> The Area 51 raid was a bad idea. I don't think it was a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Storm Area 51, they can't stop all of us. <laughs> Storm Area 51, they can't stop all of us, was an American Facebook event that took place on September 20th, 2019 that would involve raiding the site in search of extraterrestrials. That was the biggest, that was the biggest fail like ever, bro. They can't stop all of us. That shit was in the news. Niggas was never running past the fucking, past the fucking news, people. If you try to storm military facilities, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah. Exactly. If they can wipe people's memories that have been working there for 20 years, like. Oh, my God, no. Even when it's on something like we agree on, she's just got to be fucking annoying, bro. Even though they like can clear your minds, can I get a word in there? Like, even though they can erase your minds and things, like. If they can wipe people's memories that have been working there for 20 years, like, like that, then what could they do to people that are trying to storm a government facility? Uh, mow them down. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> literally it. I mean. I know it, it, I think it started as just like a kind of a joke Facebook group sure. mm -hmm. or something yeah, like that. Yeah, definitely, um, <laughs> definitely. 
which is like, okay, that's kind of funny. But the fact that there is kind of a, a somewhat of a consensus where, at least with skeptics, that people who do believe in uh, aliens are somewhat crazy or weird, you know what I mean? Like something's a little yeah. off with them. Didn't so help. it was bad, not only just for people in general, but also believers in UFOs. That didn't have me looking at people who believe in UFOs and like things like that. I didn't look at them like they were crazy or anything. Yo, uh, yo, Matt, thank you so much for the 15. I appreciate you spread, uh, spreading the mental mentality, sorry, uh, of thinking before believing. Yeah, that's, that's what I try to say with anything. Like just, you know, before you just instantly jump in and believe things because you've been told to do your own research with it and see if you truly believe it for yourself or you believe it because everybody else around you believes it and you don't want to be an outsider from thinking different. Cause that's how I was, uh, you know, in in my household. I didn't want to think another way or think outside of a certain belief because everybody else thought one way, and I didn't want to be that outsider when it came to you know that thing. So, um, yeah, I always do. I always you know do my own research with things um, before I come to an instant like, oh, I, I believe that because you told me to. Uh, so yeah, Matt, thank you for the uh, the donation by the way. And aliens in general. Well, in general, something's a little yeah. off with them. Didn't so help. it was bad, not only just for people in general, but also believers in you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't, like, that whole thing didn't make me, like, look at people who believe in aliens, like, yo, or UFOs, like, yo, they're freaking crazy, bro. They're weird. I was just looking at it like, bro, people just be trolling, bro. <laughs> people just be bored, because I know, I bet half of them niggas that was there, they, they, they don't even care about the whole situation. They was like, yo, raid, raid, raid in Area 51? Fuck it, dude. Fuck it, dude. I'm there, man. UFOs and aliens in general. I definitely don't believe it was necessarily a bad idea. I feel like it put pressure on the government to be like, hey, there are a lot of people who are curious. About it really didn't, though, because nobody did anything. They were just standing at the gate. They didn't press them. The government was literally just standing there. It was only one person. It was like one car that you seen and a dude with a gun. Like that was on the other side of the gate. And that was it. They were not worried about it, bro. They, they was ready to drop the niggas. About what you're doing. And if you have a whole facility of just like secrets, you can't help but explore that curiosity and see. If what if the secrets aren't even there though? Cause why would they openly say that that's where there's, yeah, our secrets are here, bro. But we just, we just keep it under wraps. What if it's just like a whole trick, bro? So what if it's all a trick? For yourself. And I definitely agree with that, but it wasn't like we had a group of, you know, scientists and, and well-to-do people oh, yeah, that would be, sure. I guess, more respected. It was just a bunch of kids making <laughs> jokes about clapping alien cheeks. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, if there was- there Clapping was alien cheeks. Behind it. It, was it was like the way it was constructed. Yeah. I feel like religion or science could be well like that what the fuck it's behind it it was, it like was the way it was constructed yeah they're trying to get on her bro well like a goddamn penguin i feel like religion or science could be kind of limited and i'm joking lynette you look like a lynette a couple more years you definitely gonna look like a lynette trust me boxed i have a catholic background so in my family aliens aren't real it's just human beings so Wait, what, bro? There's religion. There's religions where like, who was that? Who was this nigga? Who was that? Who was that? That was just on my screen. <laughs> who the fuck was that, bro? <laughs> Yo, Paxton. I, I got a homie named Paxton. Big fan, brother. Been loving the stream highlights on YouTube. I'm a giant Juice World fan and was curious if you've seen this. Juice World Fire in the Booth. Oh, yeah, I definitely seen that, man. I definitely seen that. I appreciate you, though. Thank you for the donation. Uh, Austin, thank you for the uh, the donation, man. I appreciate you. Longtime fan. Love your streams. Keep up the great work. I appreciate you, Austin. Thank you, man. Will do, man. Thank you. Growing up in that kind of environment, I should have a different opinion from what I have now. I believe humans were created by a higher power. Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Like, why are... I always think to myself, why are we here, bro? There's got to be... You know, there's got to be something more to it than us just being here and existing. But that's literally what we're doing. We're just here and we're just existing, so... 
I don't know. It all stems on it, it, it. Like it's just after death. It's just why it's so curious to me. Like why I'm so fascinated to what happens after you know, after we leave our bodies. They going way off topic. Yeah, that was that was that's that's re that's really off topic. But I can't wait to see. I, I'm interested in the in the in the question because that's a good question. What do y'all think? Even if you believe, hold on. Even if you believe in evolution, something had to make that happen. Something must have created the universe. Hmm. Y'all agree with that statement? Even if you believe in evolution, and evolution, something had to start that that evolution. Because even with evolution. You mean to tell me things just evolved, it started from, it just was nothing? Even if it's just the tiniest of a cell, where'd that nigga come from? Or the tiniest of a, whatever it is. That nigga came from somewhere. Hmm. That's a good question. That's, an, that's a great question. The Big Bang. So there's a big explosion. Where did the explosion come from? Why did it? Why did the explosion happen? I feel like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look into that shit. God, like everybody knows what the Big Bang is, but like, what happened before the Big Bang? I know a lot of people say God, and then it just boop, it just boom, boom, bro. <laughs> I feel like there's more to it. I feel like there's more to it. Do I believe in reincarnation? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't want to say I don't believe into it. I don't I don't want to say I don't believe in it. Um but yeah, I just don't know cuz like how the fuck can you even like how do you how do you even know about that? You overthinking? I think you're underthinking. What do you believe? You you're probably just going to say God, right? You, you, you're just saying God. I think that's the issue. People don't want to think too much into it. They just want to, they just want to answer like, oh God, okay, boom, I'm good. That answers the question. But there's people, you know, there's people in this world who aren't religious, right? You know, there's people who have a different way of thinking, right? So there's more to it. It's not just you're overthinking it. I think you're underthinking it a lot. There's more to it. There's, there's way more to it. So, uh, he said, people really be on that sheep mentality i think it's just their i think it's just a lot of closed-mindedness too because like immediately if you say anything that isn't about like if you if you go against something that is about religion people are just closed-minded like, i don't want to hear that i don't want to hear that da -da 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 -da. no you're wrong you're dumb you're stupid da -da -da. and i think that should that says a lot about you and you you as a people um if you have that mentality if you're so quick to shun other people for having one a different opinion or thinking a certain way or you know thinking beyond what you believe in so um hold on, let me some I handle this stuff some people <laughs> some people don't like to debate they just they just get they just get mad it's like bro relax but yeah that's why I like watching these types of videos because it's like it's very intriguing bro very intriguing you said humans right okay it's clarifying. <laughs> I grew up as a Catholic, and to now, you know, I've transitioned to being a Christian and all of that. Um, so I do believe in God. I do believe that He created us, and I also believe He created everything else, the planet, uh, nature, the galaxy, and beyond. If the question was, I say, how do we know there was a Big Bang? How do we know, bro? We were just told. Weren't we just told that? There was like there wasn't there was like science or something that goes into that, but like I don't know, bro. I I don't know, man. That's what I'm saying. We gonna find out. I mean, I'm hoping all these answers will come to us, you know, after we leave this body. At least that's what it, that's that's my belief. That when we leave this body, every question that we have answered, everything that we want to know about the universe, it will be answered. Uh to everybody that's seeking that wants to seek those answers and, and things like that so um 
yeah, we'll see, man. And someone said, who created God? I mean, they're just going to say God created God because he's God. But it's like, uh, yeah, you keep your ex expectations low. I don't know. I just, I think after, I think when we die, I think when we die, depending on what, it, it's depending on whatever you believe. Like I said, there's different religions. So a lot of people have their different religions. These are just what I think, what what I believe. But um, I think when you die, um, everything that, like every questions that you have, all these questions that you have about this shit, you know, that shit gets answered. And then you just do, I don't know. And then I don't know what happens. All I know is, all I want all I want to believe is that all the questions that I have will be answered. Like, are there aliens? This, that, and third. And then after what's beyond that, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. We cause then it's like you can get your answers. <laughs> you can get your answers, and then whoever is there answering you be like, well, there you go. Now you're going back as a fucking bird. <laughs> Or some other shit, or you're just born again as a, you know, you're born again as somebody else, and you just forget everything, and like th that would be a horrible way. I think, I don't know. I think reincarnation would be scary because I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to die and then be bought back to this earth. I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to come back to this earth at all. I would want to see what's out there. I would want to just be a, uh, be able to just fly my soul, you know, wherever the fuck it is I want to go. Were we made by aliens, I might not have stepped forward, but higher power is a wider umbrella. We're clearly very different from every other thing on this planet. Right. And I think there was some intervention at some point that might have facilitated that. Terrence McKenna thought it was mushrooms that... <laughs> the Stone Ape hypothesis proposes that the transformation from humans' early ancestors, Homo erectus, <laughs> uh, to the species Homo sapiens mainly had to do with the addition of the mushroom I don't know what the fuck that word is. And it's diet. So niggas started eating mushrooms and that was the big thing? <laughs> what the fuck is that theory? We did psychedelic mushrooms and that facilitated an evolution of consciousness. And mushroom spores can survive in space too. So maybe they are the aliens that helped us get to where we are right now. So we are for sure an, an evolutionary accident. I mean, it, we don't know why we developed these big brains, but we did. I mean, we've only been around kind of a couple hundred thousand years. Yeah, actually, it kind of- That's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know at all. You can only, you know, you just have your strong beliefs. You just have your strong beliefs. And a lot of people are like, out, you know, and it's really out of fear. They will deny everything else and just believe their, you know, their own belief because like, Shit, shit, you ain't gonna get me to do it. I ain't going to hell. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so it's like, yo, it's like, fuck every, it's like, yo, fuck, fuck, forget your religion, forget your religion, fuck what you believe in over there, because, you know, you better praise my God, because if you don't, you're gonna go to hell. And I ain't, I ain't trying to go to hell. Da, da, da. So it's like, I feel like people are like more closed minded when it comes to things like that, just because of, you know, all the different beliefs and things like that and all the fear, uh, essentially. But, you know, seeing as I, you know, I just believe in what I believe. I have no fear. So um so if it's not real, wait, what? So it's not real if we have beliefs? What are you talking about? Do you are you are you are you retarded? <laughs> are you retarded or are you not listening? Why are we so, why are we desperate to make sense of stuff and not just live? Fear is so limiting. I mean, because we're about to die, bro. <laughs> I mean, we, we are all going to die. People just want to know what's going on before we do. At least some people do. Me, there's some people that are just comfortable with living how they're living. And, you know, they don't need answers about anything. They just want the, they just got that. They, they got their, they got what they believe in. They're done. That, that's their answer for them. They got it already. Their answers are already an answer. But then there's other people who are thinking beyond that and they're trying to get answers and they're just trying to get it from different places and things like that. Just to, just to figure out what the fuck is going on. Cause like the world is so vast. So is the universe. I don't know, man. It's like, it's just endless knowledge, man. Endless knowledge. And, uh... Uh, piggyback off of that where you know as us as animals because that's basically what we are we're just really smart animals you sure. know it's just we took a path 
of how we evolved to where we are today, you know? And like you said with the, the mushrooms possibly being part, that's... that. Why do you have a brain if you're not trying to figure anything out? That's a fact. Like, that's a fact. Like, if you're not just trying to figure anything out and I should just live my life and not think about anything, but then, bro, I could have been a fucking dog or some shit, bro. Dogs don't got to do shit, man. <laughs> Religion is brainwashing. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Like, people believe... There's so many different religions. Um, I would say religion is just... It's like direction. Religion is basically direction. I wouldn't say it's brainwashing because some for some things, for some people, you know, it, it guides people in the right direction. For other people, it guides them in the very wrong direction to where they're like, gays need to be burnt and all this, you know, all this different shit. I'm going to blow up a building building for my God and, you know, I'm going to blah, 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 and all that shit, you know? That's why I said, you know, religion is kind of, you know, it's a guide. Guides people in the right direction guides people in the wrong direction. It helps people cope with different things. It gives people the answers. It gives people the answers to the questions that they may ask. Um, but yeah. And don't ever think like I'm against religious or, or religions or um, if I don't agree, bruh, some people just believe that. I didn't say they didn't. I never said anything. I never said... Uh, Bro, I'm just speaking for myself. So when I'm speaking about it and you feel some type of way like, are you saying that because I'm religious, I'm closed-minded or da-da-da-da? Like, bro, I'm speaking for myself. If you feel some type of way, then maybe maybe you are. <laughs> maybe you are and you feel me talking directly to you. But, um, yeah, people are free to believe in what they want, which is what I always say. But it's always certain religious people who always tell, who always try to force other people to believe in what they believe in. I don't ever do that the other way around. I'm never saying, yo, stop believing in that. That's stupid. That's stupid that you believe in that, bro. You need to be you need to do this because this down the third. I, I never do that. I've never done that once to anybody every time I've talked about religion. But yet, after the conversation, I would get messages. Hold on, let me handle something. <laughs> uh, this should be, there we go. I would get messages every time I talk about something like this. Of people like, yo, man, I heard you talking about, you know, religion and how you know you're not religious. Uh, I want to bring the word of God to you, this, that, and the third. Like, that's very, like, I don't like that at all. <laughs> I do not like that at all. And that's you forcing your belief on me. It's not that I've never been religious before. I literally grew up in a religious household. I found, I, I found my way through research and things like that, that, oh, this is not... I'm not trying to do this. I'm not trying to, I, I, you know, I'm good on that. I'm good on that. I think I'm going to do my, you know, do my own journey. Find my, figure out my own journey. Fo follow my own path. That's what's going on, bro. This man said, God is trying to save you. You see, it's stuff like that. It's stuff like that. That is very, I, I don't know, bruh. If if that like that like I said, you're fine with your own belief. You could say you could say what you want to say, and I could say my own. I could say my own way that there's something out there trying to guide you to something else. You know, how, there's so many different gods that people believe in, yet you say everybody else's god is wrong. That's weird. That's 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 weird to do. Christianity isn't the only religion, you know that? So when I talk about religion, why is it always Christians that talk, get mad about that? Hold on, let me get... Because that should be so annoying. <laughs> yeah, like, don't push your beliefs on somebody. And if you are not religious, don't push your beliefs on other people. Like, don't try to get people out of religion. And don't try to drag people into religion. It's own people's choices. People really try to force that on them. That would be part of the evolution of what we are. It does change br brain chemistry, psilocybin it, it, mushrooms. It does, but that would be more toward a Lamarckian evolution as opposed to a Darwinian evolution because Lamarck thought that if you just did a pressure, if you did forces, um, then that would change different um, generations. And, 
Uh, we're pretty sure that doesn't happen. I mean, many, many generations of Jews have been circumcising their babies, and yet every baby has been born with a foreskin after that. So mm. it's sort of not... Does change br brain chemistry, psilocybin it, it, mushrooms? It does, but that would be more toward a Lamarckian evolution as opposed to a Darwinian evolution because Lamarck thought that if you just did a pressure... Hold on. Believe what you want. Uh, I'm not worried about it as long as I'm doing good things and I'm doing what I care about, or my purpose. That's what I'm, yeah, exactly, bro. Believe in what, like, bro, if you believe in what you believe, anything I'm saying shouldn't, shouldn't matter to you. Like, I'm not here to make people question their religion. If you question your religion, that's on you. That's on you. I'm just speaking my mind. You're in my stream. You're in my stream. I'm going to convey my thoughts, bro. Know where I'm saying, you know, don't believe in this and don't believe in that. By all means, believe in what you believe. But, you know, I'm on my own, you know, I'm on my own journey. Sure, if you did forces, um, then that would change different um, generations. And uh, we're pretty sure that doesn't happen. I mean, many, many generations of Jews have been circumcising their babies, and yet every baby has been born with a foreskin after that. So mm. it's sort of not something that you can force, apparently. But when we talked about higher power, I don't know you well enough, we just met, but I guarantee he wouldn't be past saying, yes, aliens could have made us. Oh, you sure. know, there could be civilizations that are tens of thousands of years ahead of us. They could have came in here and, and altered things. That is 100% of possibility. Um, but possibility and probability are two different things, and I think that's really important, because I can sit here all day and tell you, yes, we could all be in a simulation. Uh, that is, and statistically possible, but statistically possible is not how we all operate our lives. We, we use statistics in everyday life, and I think that's really important to not let it go when it comes to everything else, when it comes to spiritual issues or evolution, and just say, although I operate my entire life off statistics, I'm not gonna do it here. I think there is some science that like indicates like life on other planets or like, you know, going back to like ancient civilizations, there is proof that like they believed in aliens. But for me personally, I would say it's very spiritual based. My views on this topic are an important part of my identity. Part of my identity? Of course she's gonna step up. She says she's a goddamn alien, bruh. It wouldn't make sense for me to not step forward considering the fact that I identify as a starseed. So it's just something that you awaken to your own divinity and it's very personal to you. Mm -hmm. And I think we're all on different paths and everyone's valid in their own way, but. Absolutely. And when you have an experience with it, it's, val it's verified, it's validated. But Agreed until 100%. you do, it's not there. It fascinates me, you know, uh, I've watched many documentaries, many specials and things like that regarding this topic, but it's not like I live and breathe it. You know, I'm not gonna dwell on it till it happens. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I'd love to be the first guy to, you know, see the craft land, go up, introduce myself, you know, get some alien technology, take my photos with my iPhone up close, you know, selfies. I mean, I would love to do that. When well, you're ready. <laughs> yeah, all right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Ayahuasca is a facilitator of contact made from Yo, this is, a, this is another thing I was thinking about, like, this is another thing I was thinking about, like, bruh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, there's no, like, direct answers. There's things that happen and all this shit, you know, going on in the world, but it's like, at the end of the day, bro, I'm just, I'm just gonna live my life until this shit is over. That's all, that's all I really can do, bruh, just live my life until this shit is over. Because at the end of the day, all this shit is still going on in the world, bro. We still got corona running rampant, bro. People dying. Cops are still killing innocent people just for no goddamn reason, bro. That shit, like, all this shit is just going to happen. So it's like, why are we sitting here arguing about shit that nobody has the answers to? Why are we all are going to war over shit that nobody has the, the answers to? It makes no sense. There's so many people separated in arguing against each other over something that doesn't even matter in the world right now it doesn't do it doesn't you, you it doesn't do anything we are we are the same people it is just the beliefs are different why is this something that people are going to die over that's what i don't understand why can't we just live life and coincide together like regardless of what it is you believe in 
But no, niggas can't do that. Niggas need a label. That's why I don't have a label. So many people try to tell, ask me, yo, what are you? What are you? This, that, and the third. Bro, I'm Dante. That's what I am, bro. I, I, I believe what I want to believe, bro. You cannot put a label on me. You can say what you, you can, you can try to, you can put your own label on me if, if that's comfortable for you, but you can't do that. Like, you, you can, you can, but you can't, if you get what I'm saying, if you get what I'm trying to say. So, um, people will be like, yo, are you Christian? Are you atheist? I'm not either of those things. I'm Dante at the end of the day. Because I'm forever learning. I'm forever gaining knowledge and my viewpoint consistently changes. I am not just one-minded on something. I'm like, well, yep, that's what I am. That's what I am. I'm good. I'm da-da-da. Things change consistently because I'm constantly reading things. I'm constantly looking at things. I'm constantly thinking about this, that, and the third. Which I think more people need to need to um, understand. I wouldn't say that's what more people need to do, but that's what more people need to understand. That stop trying to label everything and just figure out who that person is as a person. Like, that's just weird. Like, could you imagine you meet someone for the first time? Yeah. What is your what are your religious beliefs? Like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Oh, that's just weird to me, man. That shit's always weird to me. And people get so pressed about it. Like, bro, just live your life. Stop pressing shit on people. Don't press shit on me. I don't press shit on you. We just live life, bro. We just live life until we're fucking dead. And then what? We'll fucking see, bro. We'll fucking see. Two plants in the Amazon. I've, I've had a friend do it, and he basically said that from that, he, he found Hinduism, and he knows to be sure that... Through drugs? You're ready. Yeah, all right, exactly. <laughs> Ayahuasca is a... a South American effigenic brew used as a traditional spiritual medicine and ceremonies among the indigenous people of the Amazon Basin? Basin. Facilitator of contact made from two plants in the Amazon. I've, I've had a friend do it and he basically said that from that he, he found Hinduism and he knows to be sure that reincarnation is real, aliens aren't, it's all on earth. So that's why it's interesting because it's like, would you disagree with his statement that there are no other aliens, it's just Hinduism and why would his trip be different than yours and non? Well, I just consider the umbrella of aliens to be more like non-human intelligences, whether it's multidimensional, something people call spirits or angels or aliens. It doesn't seem like his experience necessarily would devalue that. Uh, he might have a different box or label. I normally tell everyone I don't have beliefs. It's all based off statistics. I'm not here to say 100% there are aliens. Just statistically, there are. So I'm here to always just make the boundary between people who say 100% there are aliens and the people who say 100% there aren't aliens. And I don't think either of those are correct, but we have to look at it as a number situation. And I think that's very important because we can't be using our emotion or our religion to determine whether there are aliens or not. Final thought. To me, it unlocked an entire dimension of reality that I was denying beforehand, you know, a spiritual dimension of consciousness. Once you take these compounds, you can experience things beyond yourself. He really trying to get pet people to have take these goddamn with, drugs, because man. science is in this box of the material world. There's so many things in this world that we, we don't have any information on. So almost kind of narcissistic in effect to, to say we're the only intelligent beings that live in this entire known universe. Right. Um, so, yeah, no, I think, uh, believe what you want, but aliens are real. <laughs> I definitely agree with what you were saying. Um, there is just... I'm mad nobody checked this girl for saying she was an alien. I'm so mad they didn't get on that. It's too many things in this world to just have one single, this is it, this is the truth, idea. Um, before my spiritual awakening, I was just like you guys, 100%, and I was actually very atheist. Someone like me who went through a spiritual awakening and someone who is a starseed and just being like, okay, who am I? I'm not from here. I could speak this other language. Like, I can do the, these things that, like, don't make any sense. And Why aren't they, bro, why aren't they checking her? I want to hear this language, bro. I want to hear this alien language that she says she can speak. I need to hear this, bro. I need to hear it who is a star seed and just being like, okay, who am I? I'm not from here. I could speak this other language. Like I can do the, these things that like don't make any sense. And having the kind of experiences that I've had, it's something that science can't explain to me. And so I feel like just operating from a science base is kind of limiting yourself. Yeah, and I think 
the misconception, a lot of people think that science is nothing more than some weird collection of facts and figures. It's not that at all. It's a methodology by which you explore the world, the, the explore the universe. But to give you an idea of how vast the universe is, you could take the smallest grain of dust, paint it blue, go out to the middle of the Pacific Ocean, throw it in there, and a year later tell your friend, go find that grain of dust. That would be much easier to find than to find the Earth in this universe if you didn't know where to look for the Earth. Mm. I mean, we are so small and insignificant compared to a grain of dust in the Pacific Ocean. I think we all kind of agree aliens probably do exist. There's a great chance. For me, 99.99% you know, chance here. 99. It's just a fine line when we talk about you know, psychedelics or inner you know, realities because I think then we have to credit people with schizophrenia. We have to credit people with all types of disorders to then not downplay what they believe and what they see. And they see their mother walking in front of them and they see the ants that actually evolve into humans in front of them. And so I think it's hard to do that because I think if we're going down that realm or that realm, then we can't discredit them either. That not is to say true. we can't, but just it would put us down that realm where we have to credit all of them. And so it's really that important that for me is, yes, we can go down that road, but I think that road didn't lead us to cars, hospitals, different things like that. He was just like, yeah, let's get everybody to do drugs and shit. Yeah, thank you. That's good. Yeah. yeah. We asked participants not to shake hands either. They didn't like meeting all yes. of you. You too. Oh, I was about to say that. Wow, that was a trip. Have you ever? Interesting. Very fucking interesting. <laughs> drugs are <laughs> drugs are bad, I'm gay. <laughs> drugs are bad, I'm gay. You can't discredit them anyway. What do you mean? You can't discredit some spe speaking facts. Okay, you can tell when somebody's on drugs. I mean, like, yeah, you can't like they gonna see some shit, but like, you can t you can tell when someone's on drugs and they see crazy ass shit that that makes no sense, bro. Come on now. 